Yeah. Place now with Beachlawn here is where we're all born, it's Tony's home place. And, our, and all our own, he's standing outside the old gate, where he stood when he was only a nipper. As the fella says, uh, there's the old the homestead there now, and uh, Tom and Francis and the family are living there now. So we'll just take a walk in here, in along. Tony. Tony going up there beside Tom now. And uh, Francis. Francis is tending to the flowers. She's a great woman for the flowers, you know. She's, uh, I suppose, she's hardly watching them anyway, I don't know. She's doing the wildflowers. And there's the, the house here. This is the, the back entrance of the house. I'll show you the front in a minute. There's Tom and uh, Tony. And uh, as you can see, a good supply of turf here, no shortage for the winter. This is the usual way for fire burning here. No coal in this country. All peace, you might call it in England, but turf we call it here. You heard Billy Dimsey talking about it yesterday. He's in the bog every day. So, uh, Tony, you bring back a bit in the KST. You know what, <laughs> Come over here, Francis. Tom is in the milk business as well. He, he has the coal room here all set up. Yeah. He'd probably be thinking I'm up spying now, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's going to give him a hand. Because it's a bit late now. Yeah. Niall has gone out on the run. We're expecting him back shortly. And Niall is out here early this morning. So, uh, as I said, uh, there's the old care of that. There's all the there's all the sheds around about. And by God, as Tom says, uh, even the cat is here. He's licking his lips. He's probably after had a good drink of milk now. He's happy enough. A fine cat he is, too, God bless him. Uh, I suppose he's looking for a young rat now. This country, cats in this country usually uh, they kill for their grub. Get a drink of milk and about that's about it. If there any good, I go out and kill a few rats or mice or something. Yeah, there's two of them in the house. So let's take them off. Yeah, he sees Tom, he's going over for the meat. But yes, he's, uh, he's after, uh, he's in his glory. Tom Paul said to give the cats three kisses from him. <laughs> Tell Tom to give the kisses. Well, he has them now. Whether he wants to give him a kiss or not, I don't know. But I'm sure. I said, old cat is only interested in the drink. The <laughs> 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 old cat here. I don't know. He'd rather not. Go on again. We're here now in the front of the house, here in Beach Lawn. Friends are there, Tom, Tony. Here's the hall door. Uh, I go up now, Francis might like to say a few words. Or Tom, say it. I'd like to say a greetings to London. Greetings to the boys. I wish to. Wish them all, uh, all his friends over there. Send them, send them the best of uh, regards and over to Tony's, Tony's lads and all the rest of that. Any of the rest of the friends around the boat, you know? They have uh, the, the lads in the pubs and everything else and Mike's friends. He sees, he sees any of them. Oh, Joe, Joe, John. There's a lot of them dead now as well, you know? A lot of them gone. It's a long time since I was over there now myself. 30 years, you know? Huh? 30 years and I spent, uh, spent 15 or 16 years in the zone. Uh, construction and motorways and uh, you know, railways and the lot. Huh? Yes, so. Anyway, it's a bit nice to go back and uh, meet a lot at the uh, lot of the beginning, you know? I was back there a couple of years ago and I met, uh, met a good few of them in the, in the King's Head down, down the Warburg Road. Huh? 
we had a good bit of a piss up that day, you know? Huh? Met Riley and Paul up more than John Riley and or Mick, you know? And uh, well, I'd like to see them again, you know? If I ever get the chance, I'll, uh, I will go back and, uh, and see them, you know? Great stuff. Yeah, That's yeah. smashing, huh? Well done, dear. No bother. Yeah. No. That's great stuff. Well, Tom has sent on his greetings. While that was going on, Francis and Tony were having a great chat here in the background. Oh, I see Mr. Hall, Tony said he'd miss London. He'd hate to live in Ireland. As a, I, he, he say, uh, uh, he's saying... He's uh, saying that now, because he didn't say that when he was coming a few weeks ago. Well, the two, you'd be, you'd be in the same boat. Ah, that's right. I shouldn't give him a care. Anyway, do What is? Well, of course uh, he's looking forward to going back to the grandchildren now and well, bringing them to Mass every yeah. Sunday morning and all that. It's been enough, they're going to grow up and get a bit bigger. They should have been running away from as well. Well, that's the same name, yeah. Tim says. What's your bar? You're running away from the fairies. Running? You're running across. You're, you're always going after me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, um, that's like, yeah. you're sticking around you. Time is easy going. Very easy going this country. Oh. Mm. People don't rush. Maybe when you're not working here, you don't notice it. I'm glad you like it, Tony. When people have to do their work, they have to get on with it too. That's right. Two girls, um, Terence and his wife and children. Has he two children two, now? Anthony and Michaela. This is a boy and a girl. And a girl yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, sure. So we soon, all we soon better take me out for a few jars, anyway. <coughs> <laughs> well, Dad, you shouldn't drink that, Dad, because I won't drink more smokers. Who said that? Small lad. How old is he? He's two up to six now. Oh, yeah, he's now. And then, um, like, because the fad doesn't make me four. And then... Um, yeah, but you have to give them. They all said that when they're little, and we all... And here's the front of the house now at home here in Beast Town. <laughs> Fenson and his pony and Tom inside. Typical. It's in... There's the old house itself. <laughs> Down the road. We shall go to school one time. How should it be as flying? Do you see that? Someone splashed that one time, and I could never get that off that. No. I should. You have to get Frankie Welch up. <laughs> Back, we're waiting for him to arrive before we uh, conclude with this. He's having a read in the, uh, the van, the pa reading the paper in the van. So, uh, we're just back from the from the round now, as the fellow says, they're unloading. That man's after a hair day's work now, he could do it a good sleep now, it's a uh, hair night. He has the old uh, doll. Here's the dawn milk up here now. I was showing you the Madden's milk the other day. Have we got... Here, Knight. There's, there's a two liter there. Here he is now. We got... <laughs> this is the opposition. <laughs> Grand job. Lovely. That's it, huh? <laughs> Take out the bike and make it go for a cycle. Francis is going for a cycle now. This is my bike now for that. Tony is after a regard. Put up your leg. Try your leg over the bike. Tony is uh, going after a spin and his bike. I should not need him. It'll never be the same again. Oh, Jesus. He says he's stiff. He told me he cycles 10 or 12 miles every day in London. I don't know. I think his imagination up in the pub. Oh, no. Because that's not how good they are, they have to fall off after the first jump. <laughs> <laughs>